Hi, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, three people have been killed and one is severely injured after a shooting in Lookout Valley. It happened around 7 o'clock last night in a neighborhood on Kelly's Ferry Road. The sheriff's office hasn't confirmed whether any suspects are in custody and no information has been released on the victims. We'll have updates on this developing story throughout the day online at timesfreepress.com. More details are emerging about the Nazi rally being planned for Chattanooga. The county commission has given the National Socialist Movement approval to rally on the lawn of the Hamilton County Courthouse April 26th. The group is traveling here to celebrate its 40th anniversary. Their leader, Jeff Scoop, says the party chose Tennessee because of the large number of supporters they have in the state. But he says the group won't say how many members it has because they just don't know. However, in a permit application submitted to Hamilton County, Scoop estimated between 50 to 110 people would attend the rally. Their weekend will begin with a private business meeting just outside the city the day before. Then on Saturday, a 90-minute rally is planned for 2.30 p.m. Their official protest is against illegal immigration. But if the group's history is any indication, we could see some violent counter-protests as well. Mayor Andy Burke says he's meeting with police officials to create a safety plan for the event. Burke, who is Jewish, says, quote, It's awful. I can't stand having them in our city. I hope they leave town as quickly as humanly possible. The last thing in the world we want to see is this group in our city. A new modernized McDonald's opens today in East Ridge. It replaces the old restaurant there, which had been there for nearly three decades. With double the seating and double the drive through lanes, owner Rob Goodwin says the new restaurant will be the biggest McDonald's in the area. Inside, it includes a mural of local attractions like Ruby Falls and the Aquarium. For kids, the indoor playground features touchscreen video games, and for those with their own gadgets, power outlets are located beneath the tables. The building also includes a new third drive through window where customers with complicated orders can get their meals so others behind them can move on without delay. The first 100 visitors today receive free Big Macs for a year. The United Auto Workers has served about 20 subpoenas for an April 21st hearing on its appeal of the local Volkswagen plant vote. The union seeks testimony from Governor Bill Haslam, Senator Bob Corker, and other officials, including Bill Haggerty, Ron Haar, Gerald McCormick, Bo Watson, and House Speaker Beth Harwell. The UAW is also seeking communications and documents of those subpoenaed, anything relating to VW, the UAW, and government incentives for the plant. UAW is appealing for a revote at the plant after it lost 53% to 47%. The union claims there was interference by third party groups and politicians. A woman in Somerville has learned that good help can be hard to find. Police say 54-year-old Brenda Mostiller attempted to hire someone to kill her estranged husband. She reportedly provided the individual with photos of her husband and suggested locations where the hit could take place. And even though the person took money from her on two occasions, police say the person had no intention of carrying out the act. Now she's been charged with criminal solicitation to commit murder. And police say the scammer likely won't be charged. Finally, a Georgia man has been arrested after police say he rubbed a dead raccoon on his neighbor's property. Shannon Wayne Hellard was arrested for allegedly threatening his neighbor in Trenton, Georgia. 44-year-old Kim Van Veldhuizen says Hellard and another man shot at a raccoon, then beat the wounded animal with metal rods until it died. She then told investigators he dragged the dead raccoon across a tree that holds her children's tire swing and rubbed in the blood. Then she says he came up to her screaming and cursing. The arrest comes three months after a judge granted one of Hellard's ex-girlfriends a restraining order. She said Hellard pulled her hair and threatened to kill her. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 74 degrees. The low tonight will be around 49. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.